Today, we're diving into something that can totally transform your car's performance, the Throttle Position Sensor, or TPS for short. But here's the key, resetting the TPS. Why is it important? How does it affect your fuel, power, and even your transmission? Stick around, and I'll break it all down in simple terms. And if you're wondering how to reset it on your vehicle, I've got you covered, just check the link in the description below for a full step-by-step -step guide. Before we get started, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell so you never miss out on more car maintenance tips. Now, let's jump right in. Number 1. Understanding the role of the TPS in a vehicle. The throttle position sensor, TPS, is a critical component in modern vehicles. It monitors the position of the throttle valve and sends this data to the engine control unit, ECU. The ECU then uses this data to determine the correct air fuel mixture and ignition timing. A properly functioning TPS ensures that the engine responds accurately to driver input. Whether accelerating, cruising, or decelerating, the TPS helps maintain smooth engine performance. Without it, the ECU would lack real time data on throttle movement. This can lead to erratic engine behavior. Resetting the TPS ensures it aligns correctly with the throttle body. This alignment is essential after replacement, cleaning, or modification. Without a reset, the ECU might misinterpret the sensor's data. Number 2. Enhancing engine performance and throttle response. Resetting the TPS plays a key role in restoring proper throttle response. Over time, the TPS may become misaligned or develop calibration issues. This can lead to sluggish acceleration or hesitation when you press the gas pedal. A reset ensures the sensor's baseline is correctly established. This allows the ECU to recognize the full range of throttle positions. As a result, engine performance improves, with smoother and quicker throttle response. Drivers will notice better responsiveness in stop-and-go traffic or during overtaking. It also helps reduce flat spots or dead zones in acceleration. Overall, a reset aligns the sensor's data with actual throttle movement. This small procedure can make a significant difference in driving quality. Number 3. Improving fuel economy and combustion efficiency. A misaligned or faulty TPS can lead to incorrect fuel delivery. The ECU relies on TPS data to regulate the air-fuel ratio accurately. When the TPS isn't properly reset, the ECU may inject too much or too little fuel. This can cause poor fuel economy and increased emissions. A reset ensures that throttle readings are accurate, optimizing combustion. When the mixture is balanced, the engine burns fuel more efficiently. This not only saves money on gas but also reduces environmental impact. Resetting the TPS is a quick fix that promotes better engine tuning. It also prevents the engine from running rich or lean unnecessarily. Maintaining proper sensor calibration is vital for consistent mileage. Number 4. Preventing rough idling and stalling issues. When the TPS is out of sync, idle stability often suffers. The ECU may struggle to determine the proper idle position. This can cause the engine to idle roughly or even stall unexpectedly. Such symptoms are especially noticeable in cold starts or during deceleration. Resetting the TPS helps the ECU relearn idle parameters accurately. This ensures smoother idling and better engine control at low speeds. It also prevents dangerous stalling, especially when stopping at lights or in traffic. A properly reset TPS supports better transition from idle to acceleration. This is crucial for both comfort and safety. Therefore, resetting the TPS can resolve several low RPM drivability issues. Number 5. Supporting accurate transmission shifting in automatics. In vehicles with automatic transmissions, the TPS also influences shifting patterns. The ECU uses throttle position data to determine when and how to shift gears. If the TPS is not reset after servicing, the shift points can become erratic. Drivers might experience hard or delayed shifting as a result. This puts unnecessary stress on the transmission system over time. Resetting the TPS helps the ECU adapt to the correct throttle range. 
It ensures that gear changes happen smoothly and predictably. This can prolong the life of your transmission and improve driving comfort. A simple reset restores proper communication between the engine and transmission. That's why TPS alignment is especially crucial in automatic vehicles. Number 6. Clearing Diagnostic Trouble Codes, DTCs, and Warning Lights An incorrectly set TPS can trigger warning lights such as the check engine light. The ECU may store diagnostic trouble codes, DTCs, related to throttle or sensor issues. Resetting the TPS often clears these codes when the issue is purely calibration-based. After a reset, the ECU can re-evaluate the sensor's performance. If no mechanical faults exist, the warning light typically turns off. This can save you from unnecessary repair costs or part replacements. It also allows emission-related systems to function correctly. In states with emissions testing, an unresolved TPS issue can fail your inspection. Resetting the TPS helps avoid this by restoring accurate sensor operation. It's a proactive step in maintaining vehicle health. Number 7. Adapting the ECU to new or repaired components. Whenever the throttle body, TPS, or related components are replaced or cleaned, a reset becomes necessary. These parts must be in sync with the ECU to function correctly. Without a TPS reset, the ECU might operate based on outdated parameters. This can lead to performance problems or error messages. A reset enables the ECU to relearn the correct throttle range. It ensures seamless integration of new parts into the engine management system. This is especially important in drive-by-wire systems, where precision is critical. Resetting the TPS is a low-cost action with high returns in reliability. It's also a routine procedure during major throttle servicing. Always perform a reset after component changes for best results. Number 8. Enhancing long-term reliability and reducing wear. Resetting the TPS doesn't just offer immediate benefits, it also supports long-term engine health. Proper calibration ensures that the ECU operates within expected parameters. This reduces strain on engine components such as injectors, ignition coils, and the throttle body. It also prevents the engine from compensating for false readings, which could cause uneven wear. Over time, consistent operation helps preserve the engine and transmission. Frequent TPS checks and resets form part of good preventive maintenance. This attention to detail can extend the life of the vehicle significantly. A well-maintained TPS contributes to overall system harmony. In the long run, this reduces the need for costly repairs and improves resale value. So there you have it, 8 solid reasons why resetting your TPS matters. From better fuel economy to smoother gear shifts, it's a game changer. And remember, if you're not sure how to reset your TPS, click the link in the description, I've got a full tutorial waiting for you. If this video helped you, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell so you never miss out on more car maintenance tips. Thanks for watching, and keep your car running smart. Until next time, drive safe and stay tuned.